All right, so in this video, we are going to find the slope of a line. Now, first things first, if you looking at this line, you can see that the going from moving from left to right, the, the, the line is going up. So our slope is going to be positive. Now, for, in this video, what we're going to use to find slope is a little formula called rise over run. All right, so to do this, the one thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and find um, the first point, again, moving left to right, the first point that we see. Notice that I have these two points highlighted. So we're, we're trying to find the slope of this line that's passing through these two points. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just start with this first point that I see moving from left to right. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and draw a line, draw a straight line until it, it's even with the other point. All right, so that's my rise, okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to run now. I want to see how far over I want to continue drawing this line until it meets up. So essentially what I just did was I just sort of formed the triangle here. Now, if you look here, if I start here, I went up one, two, three, four, five spaces. So my rise was five. And then to run, to move to the right, I moved one, two, three, four, five spaces again, so my run is five. Now hopefully you can see that looking at this fraction five over five is equal to one. So the slope in this case, which is referred to as the M, is equal to a positive one. Let's look at another one. And notice here that we have a, um, a going, moving from left to right, this line is going down. So that means that the slope is gonna be a negative number. All right, so again, Let's pick the first point that we see going from left to right, and that's this one. And what I want to do is I want to do my rise, but now the rise could be positive or negative. In this case, it's going to be negative because, again, the, the, the slope of the line is going down. So I'm just going to draw this line until it's even with the other point, and that's going to be right here. So that's my rise, and now my run is going to be over this way. Okay, so the rise is, again, it's going to be negative. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the rise in this case is negative 8, and my run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my run is positive 6, and that can be reduced to negative 4 thirds. So in this case, the slope, or the m, is negative four thirds. And just keep in mind your rise could be, essentially that could be up or down, but the run is always going to move from from left toward, towards the right. And that's, there you go. As long as you just use the, fra the fraction rise over run and just connect the points, basically making a triangle here, um, you'll be able to find the slope. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.